you know, so do auntie me. So, mommy, what I want my mom, auntie me, I want to my mommy, my bag, you see. And what fee, or no one like you, what fee, or what fee, or what fee, or what fee, or what fee, what <laughs> Auntie me, at the mommy no bad, at the daddy no bad. No to one more to come on, that's it. We do do it, we do it, we do it. We do it, 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 we I am a poor woman. I I am 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 I I want to go and traffic by. I worry, Lord, if my wife will allow, but I know why, but I want to go to your city motto, while I will tell you what to. I want to say, Oh, I look at that. But I look at the yoke. I think that you have a bad or broke. Sorry, but don't look at it. If it doesn't face me, no. Oh, those of you want to go by a silly. Oh, you won't pay. Tell me, I won't walk. I want to so full. And it took a quick boy, yeah. Oh, she are well up. And it took a boy, you want to be a. I will, yeah, you want to treat the law. She get that if you want to buy it. It's a big deal. I think you want to be a little bit. Larry, me, I see it. Now, I want you to pay attention to the audio that you're about to listen to. For those who do not understand the language, I will do my best to translate. Yes, because we have people from the Caribbean, we have people from other parts of Africa, and we even have people in Nigeria that do not understand this particular Nigerian language too. So I've done research, I've done everything to make sure that you get the best. There are two things that have come out from the mouth of Mubad's wife, widow, and Mubad's sister. You are going to hear from Mubad's sister. Hmm. Two things, and I want you to take note of it. And this brings us back to the beginning. According to Wumi, at the court, the corona inquest, she said that uh, the day before, the day after Mubad R.I.P., after Mubad R.I.P., after Mubad R.I.P., their Canadian visa got approved. Hold that. Hold that. Their Canadian visa got approved. That's one. Two, according to Mubad's sister, and you're going to hear from her, she said that the day Mubad was coerced I'm going to use the word coerced by Mubad Helder sister that um, they should go for registry. Go to the registry. Go and get married apart from the traditional marriage, the family marriage that you did where you called family members. Go to the, to the registry. The day that he was supposed to go to the registry with Wumi to tie or to officially get married according to the law, to the um, law in Nigeria, that day is the day he had So two things happened. The day the Canadian visa got approved 
the day was supposed to go to the registry. Let us ask ourselves, is there something else attached to this? Are they trying to fool us? Are they trying to smoke screen us? Like, wait, why is it that Mubad RIP exactly when he was supposed to go to Canada with Wumi? Oh, they don't want him to go to Canada with Wumi because Liam does not belong to him? Question mark. Two, the day he wanted to go to the registry to do what he needed to do, he wasn't allowed to go to the registry. He RIP. Is it because certain people do not want both of them to officially marry? You know, when you do that, then there is more weight to it because um, you can leak into a lot of things as a woman or as a man. Yeah. Hmm. I want you to listen to it. I speak, but before then, like and share this video. Tap on the thanks button to encourage this channel and let us grow this channel. Um, if you're just coming across it by tapping on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, like and share this video. Let us listen. Only why then no registry. Only to me in the first of the call of registry. But the perfect baby have travel. And manage marriage certificate. Even by me go, then by see you by one on visa. Go man, you can't appear to ship DNA. Go to form on visa. You will see my shit at that. Only you guys will need a marriage certificate. Go to the store, you have come back. SKS, why they take action? If you want to go like you, on your get a team of what? On your registry one. On what should I like? On your registry one, if you want to go to your registry. Look, this kid, everything straight is only complete one. On your own, if you want to go to your registry one, on your registry one, get a one. That's what you want to do. If you get a Everybody Register.
Any to be cool, you want to be ah. Are you ya the one thing treat the law? Shaget, that if you are one bad, it is it on my video left here. And you want to be quick, titi, la hurry me at here. Je <coughs> 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 Welcome back. Now, the excuse that uh, Mobad's wife's sister, Kot Karimo, um, is putting out. I mean, I want us to, I know there are intelligent people on this platform, that when that terrible incident started, or when it eventually happened, that they do not want to scare, they did not want to scare Mubad's father, that uh, they did not want to tell him the condition of his son, and that he's almost gone or is gone. Does that make sense? I mean, come on. You guys handle it in a terrible way. You didn't do it right. And um, you, according to the nurse, when he slumped, when he was reacting to the medication for one thing or the other, one reason or the other, I don't know because um, we have um, toxicologists, pharmacists, and doctors that have looked into it, they looked at the medication that the nurse, even though she's not licensed to do that and she's not supposed to administer that in a house, in their home, it's supposed to be at the hospital should any reaction occur, then they will be administering some kind of blocker, you know, to lessen the effect or whatever it is that um, is reacting to. But they said all of the medication that was administered are the right ones. But the mistake is that she should not have administered it via IV, not because it is not right for him, but because it will be difficult I mean, not really difficult. It will be swift. It will be fast if there's going to be any reaction than if you had, you know, if you had injected him, you would have seen. That's what I want to explain. If she had injected him through um, the injection, I mean, injection through, you know, intravenous, you know, whatever, directly through his muscle, the reaction would have been quick and swift and probably she would have been able to act at that minute. But it was passed through the IV line and... You know, it's like slowly, slow poison. His body was, um, you know, receiving it. It, it was um, the 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 reaction just, you know, it didn't come as when it was supposed to come. So it's some sort of accumulated, accumulated, and when it eventually happened, the nurse came back there as she she claimed, and she was not allowed to do what she needed to do. They say leave him. That is how he normally faints. Eh. You know, being someone who is not qualified, she's like, oh, is this how she, oh, okay, eh, but why did you guys pour water on his head? 
You should have allowed me to do what I need to do. I'm a nurse here. Yeah? Why did you people begin to administer, begin to do your own kind of treatment? What have you done? Now we don't even know what they did. Anyway, when it became worse, when he wasn't getting himself, regaining, regaining consciousness, like he claimed he would often regain, they had to now bundle him into the car to drive him to the hospital. Finally, finally, when they realized that there was nothing they could do, they had to like kind of rush to quickly take him to wherever they want to take him to. The question we should ask is this. Why did Mubad not go to the hospital when he came home? Maybe like any other person, he had some, you know, wounds on his hand and, you know, I'm rugged. I, I will deal with him. I swear to God. Don't forget that uh, he's the one with the cash. He's the star. So, you know... That kind of thing, he will want to shine and talk and, you know, act like I'm the man here. Well, according to Wumi, he doesn't like hospital or he didn't want to go to the hospital. He came home, pressing his hand like, ah, this is my hand. Look at what these people did to me. Okay, don't worry. Like a normal thing. It was when the pain became unbearable that they needed to call the nurse like, ah, let them even give me something like pain reliever. Let me just sleep from let me just relax. Let me just sleep. It became what it is. Now, there are some other people, I mean, toxicologists who are saying that um, there's also a possibility. And um, they are saying this probably could even be more. Um, they say there is a possibility of the medication meeting some substance in the body of Mubad, meaning hard substance, if you know what I mean. Something that you are taking at the show or taking when he got home when he got home you know they say they have a lot of uh, you know a lot of things that they do take maybe maybe although Mubad came out say he's down clean he doesn't do any of these things i don't know you know it's so it's difficult for people to get off certain things not just something that you'll be like no if you drink a lot you know what i mean anyway if that is the case it still boils out to the same thing. The nurse was not supposed to administer what she administered. But she, Wumi's sister, is trying to convince us, trying to tell us, trying to absolve her sister. After the corona inquest and all of the talk, trying to absolve her sister, trying to make it appear like, no, my sister never did nothing. Everything was fine. They both love each other. She was there for him. He was there for them. I have not even met him. Do you know that she never met Mobad physically. They only spoke on phone. She never met Mobad. Not at all. Is this not a grand conspiracy? She never met Mobad at all. Not at all. Not at all. She said she wanted Wumi to come to the U.S., but Wumi did not. Wumi, you know, wanted to stay. And um, eventually they concluded that they were going to meet up at the, uh, meet up for, meet each other in New York when Mobad and Wumi go there for a show sometimes um, November. Just imagine, a lot of things lined up for this guy. International doors open for him to travel back and forth, do his thing, sing, you know, back and forth and do. Just imagine the amount of money he, 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 he will be getting if he had been able to, you know, thrive, if he had been able to, to do what he, he, he came to this world to do. If he had been able to. But unfortunately... That is not what it is. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. So all what Mubad's wife, um, sister is trying to say here is total nonsense. Obviously, she's not going to say the truth. There was a time she decided to say the truth. She said that their mom neglected them. Their mom is a bad person. That woman is a tyrant, a bad woman, that, a bad young girl that ran away from, well, I won't say ran away. She said that their mom neglected them and that's what brought about all of this. That their mom didn't cater or train her up very well. That she went through abuse. She said a lot of things. But now, it's like she has forgiven herself for what she has said. But regardless of it, she even posted it. Not just, uh, she wrote it and she deleted it quickly. Like, maybe some people called her and said, look, they are going to use this against your sister. They are going to use it against you people. Quickly take it off. But people already screamed, munched it. We did analysis on it on this channel. For you to know how deep these things are for you to know how heavy these things are i don't know what you think about it drop your opinion drop your thoughts as regards what you have heard like and share this video see you in the next update